guys, this is Dogman with another Minecraft video. Today, this is episode 4 of Dogm 77's World Tour in Minecraft. And last time, we stopped right here down at the boathouse. And up there, you still can see the monster trap and my arc like terraforming project. And on the back side of it, there's another thing I added that's kind of a loop with the waterfall coming out of it and some lava in it. Um, and then I a closer look at that for a second. So, call a boat, hit the button. This is an automated boat station. All the ground work was done by ESO. I'm gonna put up some links for all the guys who don't know ESO. Well, it's Minecraft Fundamentals, so you have to check it out. Uh, up there, you can see the loop uh, and the dome of stress. And have another look up there, so you can see better. There you go, lava. Before it was just a kind of a lookout point, but as many things it developed and was integrated better, and right now there's a passageway leading by, but we're gonna come to that later. Um, this is the underwater tunnel of episode one. And if you don't know it, go check it out. And why do I come back here? Well, right now I'm totally busy with doing all the videos and stuff and I haven't time to build anything and that's one thing I really want to do down here as you can see it's really 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 long long to go to go back there it's a long long way so I think it's kinda boring mm. and I wanna add some cool looking things to it um, right now I'm kinda thinking about doing stuff with lava Maybe some circular things around it, or or in a spiral shape. As he joiner has a nice video out there right now about building glass spiral towers, and uh, yeah, maybe I can do something with it. Have it wrap around in a spiral shape or something. I don't know. Just let me know what you guys think, or even if you have better ideas, please let me know. It would be just awesome. So let's see what happens about that. And yeah, we go back towards the boathouse with the lighthouse. Um, before it uh, wasn't done um, um, or made out of wool, other stuff. I think it was netherrack or something. But now I think it looks more realistic. And when the wool dice came, came out with the new update, I added it. So let's go into the docking area of the boathouse and see what happens okay door closes boat stays there forever now we leave the boat and it's carried back to the storing area so let's go down there Have a look channels um, with some work you see I got some wool I got some soul soul I tried things out in the end doesn't matter the boats need to go straight but yeah Check out ESO, as I said before. He's some kind of a Minecraft genius, and especially with water flows and water construction, he's just, yeah. Check it out. So, this is where the boats are stored. Um, I put them in here when the thing was finished weeks or months ago, and since that time, they never broke or something. It always worked. Nothing overcomplicated as well. Uh, as you can see, this is another principle in my world. I want to have everything, but I don't want to be a, like focusing on one thing. Uh, I want to implement it all, but in a doable and functional way. So for my needs, this is well. <laughs> I guess it's even overkill. Okay, so in case the boat breaks, there's a restock system, ET thing, dispenser boats in there. You know it. Um, infinite water source to help create this water streams and all that some workspace yeah and there's the button the same functionality as the one up upstairs so let's hit it and see what happens basically all doors open at the same times and the boat just advance there we go doors open boat advances to the water elevator and goes up and is ready for us to head out so let's just quickly turn around and restore the boat. There we go. 
in. Here we go. Um, now we're going back to the main station and over to the biosub. But before we have a quick look at this thing here, it's just a little passageway. Um, I'm going to jump in. It's got the lava and some clean look to it again. Um, yeah, I got some of those all over the place to help connect my uh, locations and to be able to move around safely during night time. So, there you go. Fabric, aka factory, if you go up there. But we know that place already, so uh, let's turn around and head back up. Just wanted to show you this. Um, that's a lot of little things in this world. So, mossy cobblestone, I think it looks nice, especially with the texture pack I'm using. In case uh, some people still don't know, it's the Misas HD realistic texture pack. Lots of guys use them. Uh, ST Joiner also, I guess, but he, yeah, as always, he's also kind of a Minecraft genius. He added some stuff and edited it. Yeah, check out his channel. Always awesome videos. So let's hop in the car, same system, press the button, off we go, little tunnel ride again, and around and up and under and drop and up. Yeah. In case you wonder uh, why this track is going crazy, well, I wanted to hide it. I wanted to hide it some way or somehow, so that's why it goes crazy. Yeah, right now we can hear my uh, loot alarm. Again, annoying sound. Let's turn it off. So, up the stairs towards the main station again. And now we're gonna head over to the biosub area where the Squid Aquarium is in the record studio and some other stuff I want to show you. So let's have a look. Yeah, Biosop and Minecart. And let's hop in. And off we go. Hooray! <laughs> ah, I just love those Minecart boosters. There's another house I built to disguise the switching area somehow. I think it's kind of cool. With a blinking light on top of it, and we arrive at the bio substation. There's another minecart waiting, so um, it can hold two or three, doesn't matter. Mm, but yeah, normally that doesn't happen. I came here before and just forgot to ride back. But I, I went by foot. So yeah, this is my basic head station design, and we arrive at the bio sub area. This is where this tour is going to stop today and the next episode we're going to have a closer look at what's going on up here. So thank you guys, I hope you like this episode, please keep on doing what you do, keep giving me feedback, I just love to interact with all you guys. And a nice look down at the Dome of Stress, I say goodbye, thank you, I'm out.